One in three women around the world will face physical or sexual gender-based violence in her lifetime. Right here in the United States, over one-third of women experience abuse at the hands of intimate partners, and upwards of 60% of women's homicides are perpetrated by partners. These include husbands, certainly, but also boyfriends and dating partners, especially for adolescents. When we think about the health consequences of abuse, we often think about injury, homicide, and physical trauma. And what surprises many are the links of violence with poor sexual and reproductive health. So women who have experienced abuse suffer higher rates of unintended pregnancy, sexually transmitted infection, including HIV. And this is in part through abusive partners' control over contraception and over condom use. So what are we doing? In collaboration with our national partners at Futures Without Violence, we are strengthening the support network for women at risk for and experiencing abuse. We're training healthcare providers in an enhanced gender-based violence screening program one that not only asks about abuse, but helps women recognize violence, including that coercive and controlling behavior that can give way to more severe forms of abuse. We connect women with support services that can help with safety planning and harm reduction. Through a national initiative supported by the Office on Women's Health, we're partnering with the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, with the House of Ruth Maryland, and Planned Parenthood to implement this model and evaluate it right here in Maryland. And we're building it out to see if we can similarly support women that are seeking care for sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. And finally, with support from the Johns Hopkins Center for AIDS Research, we're adapting this model for women who trade sex, including those that are trafficked for exploitation. These populations in particular are at high risk in terms of violence, but are very often underserved. So we're helping them identify harm reduction strategies and obtain the help that they need.